Meet Edmontonia rugosidens, or at least that's what I'm calling it right now. This is one of the most spectacular ankylosaurs ever found. It has skin impressions on it. It took 223 days for the preparators to make it this display ready. They left all of the plates and spikes in place. It was found by the famous commercial paleontological family, the Sternbergs, and sold to the American Museum of Natural History. And it was described briefly in a public magazine in 1922 called the Super Dreadnought. And in 1930, Gilmore noted it still hadn't been properly described. In 1940, Russell wrote, unfortunately, it's still not described, but maybe it's Edmontonia. Bacher called it Chastenbergii and Coombs called it Panoplosaurus. But it seems the name has settled on Edmontonia. It was originally called, wait for it, Paleoskinkus, ancient skink. And here you see the original photos of it inside views right as they were preparing it for study. I love these old specimens. They're beautiful.